this is a part two of the previous video here here we are going to run our application so let's run so i'm going to just go to your property file here i've made some mistakes for example as you can see i'm as i'm using 21c oracle so we don't need this we don't have to write the oracle dialogs version 21 or 12 12c and the second is that thin drive i have not provided your colon here so just go through with this and see your co data source url is proper or not i am going to remove this as the table is created in my database i am just going to use the update command ddl update it is going to insert the data and update my table so let's go to the test class and i am going to just right click on the context loads method let me just change my data here 12 in pencil i don't want to use that data which was given in the previous video i will i am going to show you my database but let me just execute it so first for executing this test file we have to just run a project on server so right click on your project uh no i'm not going to create a class sorry i was about to run my application see my application is running up and running now let's try to run a test file for testing if if everything is perfect or not okay okay the green line is here so my data got saved into the database let me just open the command prompt by typing cmd we can skip this step if you want i just connected through my sys dba because i want to see my scott works or not because i was not using that scott schema you can skip this line sql sys as my service name you can see and enter and password enter here you can see i'm using 21c enterprise edition so i'm going to connect to scott tiger at the rate service name pdb's name orcl pdb so i'm connected now i'm going to fetch the data select star from my table name is product and enter yes here you can see my table is created and value 12 and pencil are inserted 